Hello, folks. This is 2019 October November paper one three, and the question number is ten. And this uh, uh, this uh, problem is concerned with the chapter of forces, which involves the viscous forces as well. It says that a solid sphere which is less dense than water, less dense than water. So let us uh, uh, keep this thing in mind. Than water is held completely immersed in water a few meters below the surface. So we have the uh, liquid surface here, so it's uh, somewhere here. The density of water is uniform, so it is assumed that uh, the density of water is uniform. It's because, uh, it's because uh, if we uh, if we assume uh, density different, then our calculations become difficult. So to make them easier, it has been assumed that the density is uniform. The sphere is released. So from here, we release the sphere. Immediately after release, the sphere rises. So since it is uh, lighter than water, less than water, it has to rise. Which row correctly describes the changes in the upthrust on the sphere and the resultant force on the sphere? So let's first realize that the upthrust force on this sphere is equal to force of upthrust is equal to a mass of water it displaces into this G. So since uh, when it was placed here, it had already displaced some amount of water. So whether we take it here, 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 here that amount of water displaced will be same so that's why everywhere inside here the optus is same so till this is uh, fully immersed inside the liquid the optus should be same so when it rises this thing should be constant 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 so that's why choice number c and d they disqualify the only thing remaining is uh, are the choices a and b now so now we have to uh, see uh, what happens to the resultant force on the sphere so initially initially what happens here? It's at rest. It's at rest. The only forces on it are one is the force of upthrust, force of upthrust, and the other is uh, the weight. The other is the uh, weight of the body. So this is weight. So the resultant force will be equal to its initial thing here is equal to uh, F upthrust minus weight because it's a lighter thing. It has to come up. But later, as it rises, as it rises, so let us say uh, when it uh, comes over here, let us see here. So at that time we have got the force resultant will be result will be equal to after is still there and work is also uh, weight is also still there but now what now happens is we have additional force which is the force of viscosity or uh, we can say drag force so this is force viscose so this thing adds up this thing adds up to the weight so we can see here weight also downward and this viscose or drag force also downward so these two add up that's why it becomes like this now this force resultant should initially we had this only this only now we have this f u is constant weight is constant so that's why when this factor is there the resultant force should decrease the resultant force should decrease so so, so our choice should be equal to should be equal to choice number b so this is the uh, choice b but one thing that we have to remember is that though resultant force uh, decreases the velocity still increases the velocity still increases initially at rest v increases so the velocity is uh, increasing when v increases uh, f v also increases and uh, because of increase of f v f resultant decreases so change of velocity and change of this thing are different the only similarity is change of velocity and change of this force so change of velocity resembles change of this force but the change of this thing is opposite to the change of velocity so that's what we have to take care of while dealing with such type of problem.